Welcome to all of you on the channel Maths with Munir. I hope that you all are doing great and watching all my videos and learning a lot. So without wasting any single moment because I know that time is money and time is very important not only for you for me as well. So I'm going to read this question quickly. The question, this question we have been taken from New Syllabus Mathematics 7th edition D3 Maths chapter number 6. And this is uh, this question belongs to the topic of coordinate geometry. So question says a line segment has two endpoints M and N. Find the coordinates for the point W that lies on the y-axis such that W is equidistant from M and N. Okay. So what I'm going to do over here because this question belongs to the class of coordinate geometry, so it would be really unfair that we are solving this question without drawing xy plane so what we are going to do we are going to draw xy plane this is your y axis and this is your x axis mention the name over here we have x negative x positive and y negative and y positive over here so over here the value of x is 3 and over here the value of x is 11 so it means that we need we don't need to go for the negative x axis because in both the coordinates point x axis is positive so we are going to take the distance of 2 4 6 8 10 and 12 So please make sure that while when you are solving this question on a graph paper, the distance between every two points should be same. I tried my best, so but still, okay. Uh, so over here we are going to take the two distance of two as well. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Over here, minus two, minus four, minus six, minus eight minus 10 and minus 12 okay the point m coordinates of point m are 3 comma 7 3 lies over here and 7 lies over here join these two lines you will get this point this is actually how we draw points on x y plane this is your point m and n the value of x 11 11 is over here in the middle of 10 and 12 and minus 6 minus 6 is this join these two the point where these two okay this is your n minus 11 sorry 11 comma minus 6 and this is your point m 3 comma 7 join these two points so this is your line segment so a line segment has two end point. Why line segment? Because the end points are fixed. Okay, and find the coordinate of the point W. What we need to do? We need to find a point W which lies where that lies on the y-axis, which lies somewhere over here. Such that W is equidistant from M and N. What does it mean by equidistant M and N? So I'm going to explain over here quickly. Let's say that you have a line segment A and B. On line AB there lies a point W on line AB there lies a point W such that the distance from that point to A and from B is same the distance is equal so we know that if there is a point lying over here on, on line uh, AB so the distance from that point to this and from that point to this end is same it means that that point is going to be your midpoint so the question is that how to find your midpoint please don't go like that let's suppose that the length of this is uh, let's so let's suppose a b line segment is 9 centimeter so midpoint is going to be 4.5 no you need to find out the midpoint that how much is it in order to find out the midpoint you need to have your compass with you open the compass more than half draw an arc from this point to the top and bottom on the line okay once you draw an arc over here and bottom as well the same case you have to do now from this side open the compass more than half and draw the two arcs from on the top and bottom so once you draw 
like this it will be this so join this point to this point so this will be your midpoint okay and there lies a point w because the distance from this to this and from this to this is same so this is what exactly we are going to do over here that open the compass more than half draw an arc on the uh, on this on the top and on the bottom of this line like the, you will get arc over here and over here and draw the arc from this side to this and this as well so join these two points once you join these two points that will become w why because the distance they are saying that find the coordinate of the point w that lies on the y axis you see this is w exactly what we got a line so that the distance from this point to here and from here to here is same okay so we are moving towards the solution since the distance from w n to w m is same so what we are going to do it means that we will write n w n w m the distance between them is equal so what's the formula for the distance between the two points y2 minus y1 square plus x2 minus x1 square and square root okay so we what should be the coordinate for the point w the coordinates are since the point lies on the y axis so it means that x is going to be 0 x is going to be 0 and y this is what we need to find out that how much this y is okay apply the distance formula on these two lines this is and uh, we wrote nw so it means that this is your x1 this is your y1 this is your x2 and this is your y2 so minus 6 minus y minus 6 minus y square plus 11 minus 0 square then square root we have just applied the distance formula on this side now we are going to apply the distance formula on this side wm as well okay so this is why y minus 7 plus 0 minus 3 okay so we have just applied the distance formula on both side of the equation so what we need to do we just need to now simplify this uh, all right so once you open the formula over here a minus b whole square over here and all so you will get 36 plus 2ab it will become 12y then y square plus 11 square will be 121 equals to over here a square which is y square minus 2ab 2 times 714y plus 49 minus 3 square will be positive it will be plus 9 okay now what you can do over here uh, we have to get rid of this square root so if you have watched my previous video then you do remember that in order to cancel the square root what we are going to do we are going to take the square on both sides of the equation so that is the step that I am not doing it over here so what you have to do you have to do you have to take the square on both sides of the equation then this square root will cancel with that square and then this square root is going to be cancelled with that square so we can write 36 plus 121 is going to be 157 plus we have 12y plus we have y square I am not writing square root because we have uh, just cancel the square root with square ok y square minus 14y ok plus 49 and plus 9 is going to give you plus 58 all right now if you look at this whole equation you will realize that over here we have y square and over here we have y square since y square lies on opposite side of the equation 
and have the same sign so we can cancel this y square with this y square so we are left with 157 plus 12y equals to minus 14y plus 58 so what we have to do we have to write these similar terms together so once you shift this minus 14y from this side to over here so 12 plus 14 is going to give you 26y equals to over here you have 58 this will go over there so 58 minus 157 so 26y is going to be equals to minus 99 so y equals to minus 99 over 26 which will be minus 3.3 for something so this is the value of y that we have got so if you see that this is minus 2 this is minus 4 so our point is exactly passing through that so y will be minus 3.4 something whatever uh, we are getting once we divide, we divide this so this was a question it's a very tricky question where we have learned the concept about the line segment we have learned about the equidistance and we have also learned that how to draw a line by sector that we did by taking the point A and B and opening the compass more than half and find the uh, midpoint. So we have learned a lot of things over here. I hope that you are paying all attention. So if somewhere you are still confused in any of this, you can always, uh, you can always contact me. My email ID is already mentioned in the about section of my channel and you can also comment at the end of this video on the bottom where the place is uh, available for you so if you got this question please don't forget to subscribe and share it might help many